California Science Center, dedicated to expanding our understanding of the world by tapping into a child's natural curiosity, their sense of wonder, and most importantly, fun. Scoot all the way back so you see my foot right here. Our tomorrow depends on what we do today. So the Muses has partnered with the California Science Center to help fund three educational programs, all helping kids develop critical thinking and problem solving skills that will last them a lifetime. Science is sometimes perceived as like, like it's kind of boring. People are like, oh, it's just a lot of work. I guess with this camp, it just like made it fun. You move your feet back. I would like to be a teacher, so it helps me just to um, be able to learn new things to also teach other people. I have been doing much better in school. My grades have been getting up when I've been, been going to this camp. We did rockets and we did scuba diving, which is really, really fun. My favorite class so far has been bones body biology, because for some reason I like dissecting things. That's the small intestine, those are the lungs. Each summer, over 4,000 children participate in the hands-on science camp. Over 20% of those children attending receive scholarships thanks to the Muses help and funding. That's well, perfect. That, pull up, that pull up, like pull your much. solder up. There you go. Perfect. Good? Perfect solder. One thing that we do here at the Science Center is we allow them to be creative and kind of make their own plan. Sometimes it's an hour and they're like, they got it, and they're already asking you questions where you're like, I actually have no idea. I have to figure that out, which is really kind of cool. We need to do like experiments where like you don't know what's going to happen next, so you're very interested in what's going to happen. Be right. Be awesome. Yeah. We're building rockets for Friday's rocket launch. This is going to be the outside of the rocket. I love science because it's just so cool. You don't know what the outcomes are. Like, if something goes wrong, it's better than it going right to me personally. He's a jitterbug, and um, I couldn't get his face to get on because my motor's too strong. We use like everyday um, stuff to to make interesting things. Ryder, what trick would you want to do? I really love this camp. I think it's doing a great job in getting kids excited about science, especially because. Um, they're not maybe getting as much of it in school as they used to. And I think that if we can keep the kids asking questions about their environment, about how things are working, and keep that mind moving, then we will create more of a love of science and more scientists in the world. At first, when he told us we were gonna build a cardboard bridge over a pool, I was pretty scared. I was like, oh no, that's not gonna happen. But when I started to get to know my team, I was like, okay, we can do this. Whether it be a bridge or the car that we made last week or the robotic claw that we made last week, when they actually see it work, that's when their eyes light up and they're very impressed with themselves. The Muses helps fund the community youth program providing science and engineering education programs free of charge to children living in the economically challenged neighborhoods surrounding the Science Center. When I was 10 years old, I was a very shy and timid boy. Had I not been given the application as a 10-year-old and gotten pretty much plucked out of a, a very dangerous community, I probably would not be in college. I believe that this program um, creates sciences. Yeah. I just thought of science as nothing. I just didn't um, appreciate it as much. But here I got taught that it was really important. We are built of matter and matter ha is science. So we just learned that science is really important to our daily lives. We would be nothing without science. Nine hundred sixty-eight students. Four hundred and twenty-five schools. Eight hundred sixty projects. Support from the Muses helps the California State Science and Engineering Fair recognize the achievements of over one thousand middle and high school students statewide, competing for sixty thousand dollars in awards. In a fair like this, there's just so much energy. Everyone has a passion for science, and just you can feel it in the room. Everyone has a great discovery, just waiting to happen. 
best part of the competition is just the honor of being here and learning about such amazing projects. You learn a lot just by going around and looking at other people's projects. I just feel like it's just a nice environment and you get to look around and learn a lot of new things. A scientist needs to be really curious in order to, to make new discoveries and to push the boundaries of their field. But they also need to be social because um, no one person can do that alone. It, uh, what I learned from working in lab is that science is really a team effort. All the people who are high up there with their doctorates and they're smart and successful, I want to be one of them. I want to be better than them.